Welcome to a day in the life video for Cerner PowerChart. You'll notice a new icon on your desktop. It'll say PowerChart instead of Portal. So you'll click on that icon. When you badge tap in your system, it should be on your desktop. Click on it and pull it up. Now this video is going to be a very quick video. I just want to show you the, just the very basics. I'm going to grab a patient chart. I've got one patient in the hospital. I'm running here to round on my patient, put in some orders, write a note. Uh, I don't expect to discharge him today. I admitted him a couple days ago. He's still got a couple more days to go in the hospital. So I'm just pulling this up and using it uh, that way. Now, um, I'll be greeted with this message. All I have to do is click OK. And most of the time, if I'm at a desktop, I'll have a wired microphone. It'll automatically sync up and lock on. In this case, I'm actually using uh, PowerMic Mobile. And when I load it up on my iPhone, it automatically closes that window. Uh, so it syncs up and very rapidly, about one second, it'll, it'll find your phone. And there's nothing to type in on your phone. There's nothing to type in on the computer. So now, as you see here, Dragon is ready to go. And uh, it will actually light up green when I dictate. But I'm going to go ahead and log in here. I've got a generic login here into Cerner. And I've got my message center. I can sign orders here, but I, I want to get to my patients. Uh, I've got a patient list here, but actually I'm going to go in here and find a uh, patient that I have been working on recently. And here I'm just going to type in physician 83 is my test patient. And I'll get this window if I'm free texting it instead of using a list or using my recent tab like this with if I used one recently, it would be in here. But I'll come to this window, and that shows the patient's medical record. And these are the separate encounters. Make sure you're getting the one that you're wanting to use. So I'm going to click this one because there's a registration date but no discharge date. That's the one I want. I double click on it. I'm a, let's say I'm the, uh, today I'm the covering position. I'm covering on call. I'm seeing this patient. And should already have a chief complaint, but I'll just say chest pain sign. Here's my vitals. Like I said, I'm moving very quickly. I knew he had an acute uh, ST elevation MI. Oh, there it is. Oh, I didn't click that. Okay, it added it as a diagnosis this visit and number one. That means it'll be in my assessment and plan at the bottom. These others, on the other hand, these chronics, these are in my past medical history. If for whatever reason I had something I wanted in the past medical history that wasn't there, like hypertension, as I start typing it, it predicts it, I hit enter, and it adds it, uh, actually added it as a, uh, well, that's from my phone going to sleep, so I'll minimize that, get it out of the way. Um, it added it as a diagnosis for this visit, so let's say I was managing it in the hospital, hypertension and MI. And let's say I also want it in my past medical history because he's had a 10-year history. I click that and it turns into a chronic problem as well and ends up on my past medical history. But I'm going fast, so I'm going to zip through this. My home medications um, were taken. Let's say there was already a med rec done. We won't go through that. This is your MAR. It'll show everything they've gotten in the last 24 hours. Your documents, if you wanted to quickly look at your document, your progress note from yesterday is a better way to go. Uh, I can also open this into a separate window and pull it off to the other, another monitor and a two monitor system. Um, there's also a quick way to view documents going, clicking on this, but we're just moving fast. There's my, uh, my labs and you know, I can go quickly through different cycles of chronological chronology, uh, last month, last six months or more, or I can always click labs and go into a different view. And let's say I did that. Let's say I wanted, wanted more detail and I clicked that. Now I'm in the results viewer where I get a lot more uh, flexibility. Look at EKG and look at uh, microbiology, pathology, uh, recent lab, maybe lab that's older and I'll have easy way to navigate around. But if I want to get back to my workflow, anytime I want to go back, just hit the home key, just like in a web browser. So I'm still just scrolling through. And as you see, as I'm scrolling through, I'm moving through my workflow automatically. I can jump to something. Um, my x-rays and click on that. I'll also be able to view the x-rays in here as well. The histories, 
um, a lot of people will be helping with your histories, your past medical history will populate here, your procedural history, your family history, social history. Uh, but if you want to add to it, you need to click on histories and add the different parts to there. <clears throat> You'll have nursing adding to it, the ED adding to it, hospitals adding to it, consultants. Um, so once that's built on a patient, every time they come in, you won't necessarily have to do anything with it unless you have to add to it. Uh, but once again, we're going just through a quick progress note. Now I get to the part where I'm really going to figure out what's going on with the patient. So I'm going to actually dictate this. We have a 51-year-old um, female. 51-year-old female presented to the emergency department with crushing substernal chest pain, comma, diaphoresis, comma, nausea, comma, vomiting, comma, pain radiating to her left shoulder and the left side of her neck, period. She was evaluated in the ED and determined to have an ST elevation MI, period. She underwent cardiac catheterization and had a bare mental stent placed, period. She is currently doing well but we've had trouble regulating her hypertension, period. That will automatically save after just a few moments, but if you want to make sure, just save it. Review of systems, I'm going to use what's called a... That's me leaving my microphone on. I'm going to use something called a dot phrase and say dot ROS. I'm going to just let's say complete. And I'm going to say next field. Next field. Some shortness of breath with exertion. Next field. Mild substernal chest pain with exertion. Comma, subjective palpitations. Accept defaults. And you'll see when I did that, all those brackets disappeared. The brackets are field. I just say next field. If I want to hurry up, that's a glitch in the train environment. Uh, if I want to hurry up, I can just... Uh, click in front of one and then say next field, it'll highlight it. Same with this, do the same thing here. Next field. Next field. Scant by basilar crackles, comma, Normal work of breathing, comma. No wheezes. Next field. Irregular rhythm, but normal rate, comma. No murmurs, comma. Gallops, comma, or rubs. Except defaults. And I'm going through my orders, and what I want to do here is I've decided I want to order um, just a few things, maybe some lab in the morning. Um, I'll say in the morning, I'll say there's multiple ways to order in this system. There's multiple ways, and this is actually not my preferred way to do it. I usually like to go up here and press this plus sign, go to a completely different order window. It's a lot more flexible. I can see all my orders at one time, uh, or I can go up here to this order profile, and I can see all my orders here. Um, start doing different things. See, I can cancel and discontinue them. These orders don't go away, by the way. You have to discontinue orders once they've been entered. But here, I'm just going to quickly order a CBC for the morning. I clicked in the morning, a BMP in the morning, um, and a PTI and R. Let's, let's say they're on Cumin. So I've done the orders. I'm going to click on this little order box. Um, I usually should say modify, but in this case, for simple lab orders, I'm going to just go ahead and say, um, I'll say clear all here, and actually put them under here, sign them, and 
This is something I'll discuss later that medical doctors will see VT prophylaxis when you don't have the orders. But now those orders are in place. I'm going to refresh that. And refresh this. You don't necessarily have to do that, but. Okay, now I'm here where I've got my. Uh, I'm going to dictate in here. The patient is still having some chest pain, period. Cardiology is still in the case and is considering further options, including a repeat cardiac catheterization, period. She will continue with her plavix, period. Check CBC, comma, BMP in the morning, period. Consider, scratch that in the morning period. Continue lisinopril, 10 milligrams daily, period. Okay, now at this point, I'm, I'm actually where I can go down here and make a note. I was going to create a progress note. I click on this. Okay, and that's my note. Everything I did in that workflow, I can do in this note too. Notice the assessment and plan and subjective are at the top. That's so in the future, it's very easy to read. Um, I can take things out if I decided I didn't want this input output in there. I can get that out of there. Um, here's my x-ray results. But let's, I probably want that in there, but if I didn't want it, I could exit out. If I didn't want these in there, I could exit out. But I'm done. I like it. I'm signing it. And everything's done. Now, I did some orders, and I can also go to this older menu and go to orders. And I should see those CBC DMP orders, but um, it's not there. Let's see. What should I do? I'm going to refresh. There they are. Well, they were there. BMP, CBC, PTINR. All the orders, all active orders, all inactive orders, all orders five days back will show up. And if it's an active order, you'll see a checkbox there. If I didn't want that order, I could uncheck it. And that'll discontinue it and then sign it. You always want to sign your orders. You can initiate them, but I'd rather just sign them. Nurses can initiate later. You'll learn more about that in training and in future videos. So that's a very quick visit, very quick patient visit. Um, Stay tuned for uh, further videos uh, with more detail, uh, but also videos that may be more tailored to a, a busy consultant or surgeon who's really focused on one or two areas and doesn't need all the bells and whistles. I'll show you how to get through uh, your day with uh, minimal fuss in the new Cerner system. Thank you.